been established for six years. We start with the Phuket Spa Club, you know, small members that gathering together six years ago. And now uh, we register under the uh, association right now, which is more a uh, permanent association in, 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 in Phuket. And has been two years that we register as uh, Phuket Spa Association. I'm the f president of the first uh, spa Phuket Association, yes. How long have you been president? Uh, this is coming the second year. Second year. Yeah. yeah. And you're organizing or co-organizing this health and wellness festival at Junk Ceylon next week, June 11th to 13th. Tell us uh, what the main aim of this festival is. Uh, actually, the festival... From the 2006, we call them as uh, Andaman Spa Invitation, which is uh, m uh, smaller than this festival, and it's go up every year because we uh, keep on uh, co-arrangement uh, with the government uh, bodies who has uh, supporting us for the budget for set up this kind of event as a uh, annual event of uh, Phuket Spa, and now this year we got more from a bigger event and. So we uh, want to make it a new name. So that is coming for health and wellness, which is more wider of the perspective of the uh, spa from, from the past. Yeah. So you mean you're going to have other organizations, not just spas, not just massage, no. but yeah. other types? Yes, yes. We're including uh, the medical service, especially for all the hospital uh, in Phuket and also the dental uh, facilities normally find in Phuket in the spa facilities we including uh, this kind of uh, uh, therapies and the uh, um, uh, medicals so it's coming for a bigger event called health and wellness festival in Phuket now right. yep you can hold it at Junk Salon why in why there in, in Batong yeah, be, uh, because we are thinking that this is now uh, low, uh, coming into low season, so we want to have the exhibitors uh, to show directly to the tourists. And the main point is in the Zhang Zilon at Patong Beach at the moment. So we are trying to uh, promote it to all the tourists as much as possible. So that's why we choose uh, Zhang Zilon as the main event this year. Particularly foreign tourists or, or Thai tourists? Yeah, both, both. But of course, the particularly will be the foreign tourists because they are the big consumers of the uh, spa, massage, and also medical service in Phuket. Right. So you'll be having displays, exhibitions. What time will it open and, and close? Okay, it's open uh, on 11 every day, and especially for the first day, we're going to have the uh, grand opening by the Minister of Health and Public uh, this year, and the, uh, every day we're going to have the uh, 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 demonstration and also the workshops going on the whole day starting from 11 o'clock until 10 o'clock in the evening. Right. Yeah. These demonstrations sort of be free, you know, that people can try out? Yes, absolutely free and also has a lot of rewards, had a lot of gift giveaways to all the participants in this event. Right. You're an owner of the Royal Spa here. Um, What's the main feature you think is really appealing to tourists who, who've never been perhaps to a spa? What, what do you feel is the, is, the, is the most attractive part of it? I think the most attractive part of Phuket Spa is we have a so, a so wide of the varieties of the service, starting from the beach, uh, massage, uh, the luxury spa, upscale, or the middle range of the spa, the day spa, you're starting from a small uh, spa until the big spa, a huge spa, you also can find in Phuket. But all we are focusing is a very, uh, every spa in Phuket has to have a very good standard. But the uniqueness or the differentiate of any spa treatment, I think every spa has their own. Mm -hmm. This is the charming of the Phuket Spa. I mean, your own one here is in Phuket Town, yes. which is quite a busy, noisy place. But in fact, when you come in, it's very relaxing. Yes. It's quite a contrast. Yes, because we are located at the Kaurang Hill. So we think this is the main point in the central of Phuket, which is quite busy city. And when you come into the spa, right, loyal spa, we want to uh, offer and all, all the guests has a peaceful, relaxing, and also in the you know tropical garden, which is a very very important for the environment of the spa. Yeah. yeah. I mean, life is becoming more hectic and busy and noisy and polluted. Are you worried that Phuket is 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 losing perhaps its charm overall? as a spa destination? 
um, or has it still got enough going for it? I think it, uh, we have to uh, make a balancing of the, uh, the development of the city. Of course, we need the development, but which kind of development, where, what is the zoning of them, and how much we can go for on that. Uh, in, in the other way, we also have to keep the natural things that Phuket has to, you know, used to be like that as much as possible. Every spa in Phuket, I think they offer a very, very unique of the uh, environment inside the spa, which is very good thing. Uh, this is the thing that Phuket should be looking for. Do you think even at Junk Salon, a big shopping mall, quite busy too, will have the right ambience too for this sort of event? Yeah, we are trying to uh, arrange in, in the Junk uh, uh, Salon because of we want to attract easily to all the tourists. But at the same time, when we do the exhibition, we will do a very, very good environment, design, layout, plan, things like that. It will be very uh, simple and keep on the green concept of the spa. So everybody comes to this exhibition, we also feel that they can um, go to a very relaxing zone. Uh, especially in the event, we also have the uh, massage, uh, free massage, and also have a very, very good price of the uh, reflexology that you can uh, we can offer them I see you got on the schedule different events starting with an aerobic show on the 11th yep. what is aerobics uh, it's a mixture between the um, menorah menorah is the, is the traditional culture dance dancing in Phuket and aerobic is some kind of the you know the exercise mm -hmm. so this is the mix between the uh, traditional dancing together with the Arabic as an exercise yes mm. and then yo yoga or yoga is it yoga yes mm -hmm. yoga What's that? a different type of yoga because now uh, Phuket has a lot of uh, yoga master practitioners and also have some many yoga centers open so in this event we gonna uh, invite all the uh, different types of yoga to demonstrate themselves. Yeah.